Hey, 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 welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Tracy and this is a girl with plans. In today's video, I'm gonna be giving you some ideas of what you can do with all the extra filler paper, happy notes, or just regular notebooks that you may have laying around your house. So I have been accumulating quite a bit of extra filler paper and a few happy notes along the way. So here is one of the books that I've created with just filler paper. I've actually had to put them on expander rings and I just used an extra um, cover. But like I have tons of filler paper. And I use a lot of this in my planners as just regular note pages but I actually want to get to utilizing them a bit more because filler paper is always on sale. So if I run out, I can just buy some more. Now I have filmed a few videos um, previously on what you can do with the filler paper. One of those videos was on ways you can use it to track your fitness or like do fitness planning and things like that. I will be sure to link that video down below. And the second video was actually this memory keeping book that I created using a happy notes notebook and just regular blank 32 pound paper that I purchased and then printed some stuff off. This is my travel notebook where I keep a list of all my travel logs um, as well as kind of do some future bucket list type planning and stuff like that. I will link this video down below as well but i realized that this was such a great use of a happy notes notebook and I wanted to keep all of my travel memories in one place that I started thinking that I need a like memory notebook. Now my memory notebook is going to be a little bit different than the memory planners that some people have created using like vertical layouts or real like happy planner memory planners where they post put pictures and things like that in here. I just kind of want to keep written memories, not really like journaling because I have a separate journal. Um, but let me show you. I've already done one page. So here's one page. Concerts. Um, I am going to a concert in May. I'm going to go see Janet Jackson. Yay. So excited. Um, <clears throat> but I started thinking about all the concerts I've been to throughout my life and I was forgetting some of them. And I'm sure I still forgot some of them. So I started writing them down just in a regular notebook to try to remember which ones I had been to. And then I was like, you know what? I would rather keep this somewhere like in one of my happy notes because it has like a sturdier cover, has better paper, and plus I can make it cute. So that's what I'm gonna do. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just handwrite the concert I went to. And if I can remember the date, I'll write the date over here maybe write the location. I don't know. Hopefully one space is enough. I think it should be enough. Um, but then I'm just going to pop that into this little notebook. So this cover is actually from a Happy Notes um, book. I think it's like from the Blush in It collection. I can't remember exactly which notebook this is, but it's just to stay in your magic. I don't stay in your own magic. I don't know that I'm going to continuously use this because I'm sure I mean, I can change it up with a pretty planner cover that I have that I'm not using or a decorative hardcover. We'll see, but right now, this is fine. And I put this on this note, Happy Notes, and the paper in it is actually from the cover. This is the cover of the book that this paper came from. It was the Born to Wander, and I felt like that served better as far as my travel journal. So I just switched the cover. That's why this cover doesn't really match. And then I just put these plastic dividers in here for the time being as just page protectors. I got this from Live Love Posh. So all I'm gonna do is just pop in this and I already have my first page for memory keeping. Yay! Um, so I just create, I've used letters from the Recollections Alphabet sticker book. Um, this is a Michaels brand. To write concerts and then these decor uh, these decorative elements are elements are um stickers that i created on my printer just using internet clip art and then printed it on my cricut and then i just use some little bullet points to kind of add some another decorative element to this page i'm probably going to have to use this side as well so i'm going to need to print some more stickers 
Um, <clears throat> but yeah, so what I'm going to do um, off camera, um, probably while I'm watching TV at some point and just kind of want something to do with my hands so that way I don't fall asleep while watching TV, is I will transfer all the stuff that I had written in my spiral notebook to this. Hopefully in a neat way. We'll see. I had thought about printing it out, but I'm like, no. All right. The next page that I want to do, I don't really think I need to do anything fancy. I was kind of debating. So I want to do a monthly, like, memory list. Um, and I don't need a whole page per month. But I think it'll be fun to keep it in my, in my, in my planner. So what I think I'm going to do is, like, I'll have a section <clears throat> that is just kind of cu a cumulative list. So it's not going to be year specific. And then like I may use another section and this might be like 2023 or I might divide it and just say memories. Maybe that's what I'll do. Maybe I'll do like annual memories or something like that. And then I'll have another section that I have something else. So I was going to make these really cute and do like boxes and write January in a box, February, stuff like that. But then I remembered I had these, and I think this is big enough. Um, I'm not trying to write every memory from the month. I'm kind of trying to write like the top three memories or something like that. I obviously, I don't think I would use this bottom one. So, but literally this is just an idea. So this requires no decoration or anything. And of course it doesn't, I mean, I don't know how particular people are. They might want all the pages in their memory planner to kind of match or their memory notebook to kind of match. So you might want to create boxes and you can create boxes. You can draw them on with just a pen or a marker. Um, you can use box stickers or whatever. I'm just going to keep it simple and just use these. <laughs> um, literally, because what I'm thinking is I have monthly stickers and I've actually created some monthly stickers somewhere too. I'm not sure where I've put them, but I'm going to pull out my dates book. Now this year I am having, I have a really bad memory and I am filming this in, um, look, I can't even think of what I'm filming. I'm filming this in April. So I can start with March, um, because I do have a good memory from, you know, March, I went on vacation, so that's a memory. I can do March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. So yeah, I can do the three pages, and I don't know what I would do there. Um, but there's always these cute, I have tons of cute stickers. I think I'm just going to use these for now, and all I'm going to do is this. Actually, I've changed my mind. <laughs> So I've changed my mind. So, and that can happen because I'm coming up with this on a whim. I knew what I wanted to do, but I didn't, wasn't sure how. So I think what I'm gonna do is a cover page. I don't know if I'm gonna use this or if I'm gonna attach a page to this. So I think I'm gonna just start on the back. All right, guys, so what I probably would do here, I don't know if I have any cute stickers in here. I may. All right, so then I have that, and then I found these cute stickers that I literally just found. Um, it was stuck in this book. <laughs> um, it's the Happy Planner. I'm not sure where it even came from, and I don't know why it's stuck in that book. But you know, can always add. This says it's not about where you go; it's about the friends and memories you make along the way. I mean, could that be? Could that not be more perfect? So basically, this is my second idea, 2023 memories. Like I said, what I will probably do is put this behind another divider. So I'll do maybe a, 
cover. Actually, I might not even need to do a cover now that I've done this. But like I said, if you have any of these that are already divided, it's like a perfect thing to do. If you don't, you can divide your own pages. You can do, if you are a busy, busy bee and you have a lot going on, or you're just someone, if you have children, you're probably gonna have a lot more memories um, as well. So you might just wanna do one page per month. All right, so I'm gonna take a quick break and then I will be back in a bit with some more ideas. All right, guys, I'm back. Sorry, I had to go grab some water. Um, so the next one is home projects. I already created this one off camera. I just drew in a table so that way I can have a spot to write in my project and the date complete it. Of course, this is something that can go in any type of planner. I'm going to probably keep it here because I want it to be an ongoing list of all the home projects I've completed. Um, I'm pretty proud of some of the ones I've done. Like um, I painted my kitchen cabinets. I redid my fireplace. So that's kind of stuff I want to log on here. Now we're going to get back into some more fun ones. So let me go to another blank page. Let's do this one. Actually, we're going to do, let's do this one. I'm going to take it out. Um, we're going to speed most of this up, but I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do first. So I live in Virginia and there are a lot of wineries. Now I don't go to wineries very often, but I have been to a few and I like to go to some um, like probably maybe this fall or something like that. I think they're just a nice place to hang out and a nice place to get some of my girlfriends together and, you know, enjoy the views and maybe drink some nice wine. So I'm going to create a list of wineries, but instead of doing how I did the concerts list with just the bullet points going down, I'm going to actually make boxes and I'm going to use washi tape to make boxes. And I'm going to do this, and I think the reason why I'm going to do this is I'll list, like, all the Virginia wineries that I've gone to, so that'll be a long list. But then I'm also going to have, like, boxes for maybe wineries that are in other states, which I haven't been to any, I don't think. And then wineries in other countries, and I've been to a few. So I think that'll be fun. Um, if you didn't want to do wineries, you could do breweries, or you could do pretty much anything, um, anything that there are a lot of that you've seen. Maybe museums, maybe you wanna list museums. Um, I think that could be fun too. All right, so I could use these big pink letters, which I'm not sure where I would use them otherwise. Oh, they have purple in them too. Oh, that'll work, let's see. The only bad thing is I think most of my letters are up in here, so it'll be like one purple and that's not good. That's a bummer. All right, I'm gonna do these, which is the same stickers that I actually used for the home project ones, but I used all the gray. So this, one, I'm gonna use the pink. I'm gonna speed that up while I put the letters down. All right, so there is wineries, and I never think about centering it up. I just never think about centering it up. Um, I do have these cute little icons that came from the Tiny Icons book. Um, so I'm going to add a wine glass here. And maybe another one there. There we go. So there's no issue with me not lining it up. All right. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to, first of all, I'm going to make sure that this is kind of straight because I ripped my washi so that way the ends are a little tattered. All right, so I think I'm gonna make a pretty big box over here. All right, guys, that is my little wineries list. I think it's adorable. I have some more wine glasses that I can put down here because I don't know when I'll ever actually use these on spreads. <laughs> so we'll just do this. And then I have some free space to write whatever. Um, but yeah, 
Etsy, super cute. And then I was, I was able to utilize some washi to make boxes, which is super easy on the grid lines. So like I said, you could do breweries, you can do museums, you can do anything. Beaches, all the beaches that you've gone to, that could be fun as like a memory keeping thing. I don't know if I want to do something on the back or not because, all right, let's put home projects. Home projects, I actually, because that's like more of, it's fun, but I don't know if it's like concerts, wineries, and stuff like that. So we're going to put, we're going to, I need to get a divider, and then I'm going to put this behind that divider, and maybe we'll have like more adulting type stuff memories <laughs> and then all the fun memories now the other thing i was thinking that could be fun and i'm not sure how to do this i was thinking about maybe doing this with boxes i hate to use up all my boxes but i think it'll be fun and i think it'll be cute um is I was thinking about doing like theme parks I've been to or amusement parks I've been to. I think that will be fun. And then I can use boxes to kind of break that up. I'm going to pull out, all right, so I have this Rainbow Boxes Mega Book. Super cute. And I definitely want different size boxes because like I've been to Disney several times. I've been to Universal. Um... So, like, I can use one box to write all the Disney stuff in. Oh, like, these are cute, too. So, I think because it's Disney, I think I want to do red, yellow, and black. And then I also went ahead and picked up this cute little Disney Magic Plans book. Let me make sure I don't have another one. Hold up. I do. <laughs> this is my new one. I don't want to use that one yet. So, yes, yeah, so we are definitely going to be using stickers out of this. Um, I mean, I've only gone to Disneyland like a handful of times. But I just still think, you know, hey, we want to sticker this stuff up when we get the chance. Um, I want to use this one because when my first time at Disney, I got a Daisy Duck hat and it's, it was super cute. Um, okay. Let's see if I can pull this up because that black box is not <laughs> working with the clear sticker. Let's see. Okay. So I can probably come a little bit more on the yellow. There we go. <laughs> Cute. And then of course I got Donald, Mickey and Goofy. Kind of want to put them somewhere too. But I feel like they need to be standing on something. And now the way that I got all my boxes set up. <laughs> hmm. It's almost like I need to have a box over here. Maybe that red one. I don't want to move that red one again. Now we can just. Something needs to go there, but. I'm gonna move the black one. And we're gonna put them here. I think we're just gonna do this. All right. think we are good. 
So what I'm gonna do is, like I said, I'm gonna write like theme parks. I think that is so cute. Don't you guys think that's so cute? Um, now, I think I wanna leave the back blank too. Maybe I have the aspirations of filling up the front and back of these guys. <laughs> um, <clears throat> okay. And then the last one I was thinking about, oh, I guess I need this again. And I think I'm gonna just use this one. And I wish I had more stuff to decorate with. Um, but what I was thinking about doing was doing like um, theatrical shows. So like Broadway, off Broadway, like Cirque du Soleil, stuff like that. Now I'm still not, I'm trying to figure out what would be a fun way to do it. So I've drew boxes, I've used washi to do boxes, I've actually used boxes, and then I've used bullet points. So I don't know, is there anything else that we have not done, guys? All right, so I said I didn't want to do boxes, but now I think I do. Because <laughs> um, I was like looking at this because, you know, obviously it has the print. I'm like, maybe I can like incorporate the print into this. And then they have boxes like this, but then they also have the note it. I, I don't care. I don't care that it says note it. So I can kind of do that. Um, there, so I can use those. Now I'm kind of like not like in the note it. Hmm. But then I have these, which I don't really know how well it's gonna look. I have like, so I have the both of the Park Lane ones. I mean, I can switch and use a different, um, maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll switch and use a different filler page. Let's do that. I like these better. And then I have these to supplement it. Let's do that. Sorry guys, I'm being indecisive today. Um, let me grab my, <sighs> my huge filler paper pack. Do this. I'll just use this. These were going blue. I might put a sticker over this. I might have to make one though. <laughs> so I'm gonna just start putting some boxes down. All right, guys, so that is the decorations for my theatrical <laughs> shows um, list. So basically, I can do like Wicked, Cirque du Soleil, things like that. Um, I just think it's cool, and I didn't really want to do another list. Um, if I go to the back, I might end up doing a list. I don't know, and I definitely wanted to use a variety of shapes and everything like that. And I don't think I need as much writing space in the actual boxes, which is why I went for like the layered look. So I will add this, I would, I don't know if I'm gonna write it. I may try to handwrite it and hope I don't mess it up. Might use a stencil maybe. I might do a stencil. So I'll do that, I'll do that off camera. All right, guys, so let's just do a quick recap because this was a lot today. Um, it was only like five ideas. Well, there were other ideas thrown in, but what I showed you was like five ideas. So I did the concerts I've been to list. I did the wineries I've been to list, which was broken up. I'm going to do like the ones that are in my state, um, the ones that are in other states, and the ones that are in other countries that I visited, which like I said, those aren't are pretty much non-existent at the moment, but hopefully they won't be for long. Um, then I've done 
a 2023 memories list as and I'm going to do that like every year. I think that's fun. And then I did home improvements and then a uh, home projects that I've completed. And then finally theme parks I've been to. So I think this was fun. I hope this gave you guys some ideas. Today, I like focused on like the whole memories type thing. I think I'm going to be coming at you pretty soon with another video that has like more functional <laughs> type things as far as filler paper, um, ways to use filler paper and like your planner. All right, guys. So all that right. is all that I have for today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed, I would really appreciate it if you would consider subscribing to my channel. And I do want to give a shout out and a thank you to all of those who have already subscribed. Um, so I guess that's it for now. Thank you for taking time out of your day to spend with me. I hope you have a good rest of your day, evening or night. Until next time. Bye. Bye.